we lost 224 acres of corn to feral hogs. Um, they get in your fields, they root up um, the fields, they, they're just, they ruin pretty much anything they come into contact. At two o'clock in the morning, the Texas brush comes alive with hundreds of pounds of muscle and razor sharp tusks. These are not your average farm pigs. These are the rototillers from hell. In Texas, they're going hog wild over wild hogs. The feral animals are causing hundreds of millions of dollars of damage to crops across the state. Farmers were losing $500 million every single year until they invented a genius solution that falls from the sky. And get this, it uses cellular data and space age tech to do what a thousand hunters could not. Most people do not realize how close we are to a total takeover. This is the high tech fight to save the heart of Texas. The flying steel ring that outsmarted millions. Texas farmers have lived in fear of the night for a very long time. While most people are sleeping, a massive army of two million wild boars is busy destroying the very ground we walk on. These animals are often called the rototillers from hell, and that is putting it lightly. They do not just eat crops, they excavate the earth, ripping up soil and destroying irrigation lines in a matter of minutes. For years, farmers tried to fight back with rifles and traditional cages, but the boars were always one step ahead. It seemed like the pigs were winning the war and the damage was reaching $500 million every year. But then a revolution happened in the Texas brush. Farmers realized they could no longer think like hunters. They had to start thinking like scientists. The traditional way to catch a pig was a small box trap with a trip wire. But there is a catch. The lead female of the group, known as the Alpha Sal, is incredibly smart. She can sense when a space is too small or when a metal bar is out of place. She would stand outside the trap and stop her family from going in. This meant farmers only caught the young, dumb piglets while the breeders stayed free to make even more boars. To fix this, they invented the suspended corral trap. This genius trap is a giant circular fence, often 20 feet wide, that hangs several feet in the air. It is held up by a strong metal pole and a system of cables. Because the trap is floating, there is no door to walk through and no metal bar on the ground to step over. The environment looks exactly like the open woods. The Alpha Sal feels safe leading her group under the ring because she does not feel trapped. She thinks she has just found a free pile of corn. While she eats, a farmer miles away is watching everything on a high-definition camera through a smartphone app. The crazy part is the patience involved. Farmers do not drop the trap the first time they see a pig. They wait for days or even weeks. This is called conditioning. They want every single member of the group, which is called a sounder, to feel completely comfortable under the ring. They watch the live feed and count every head. They identify the babies, the teenagers, and the big moms. If they drop the trap too early and miss even one pig, that pig becomes educated. An educated pig is almost impossible to catch again because it remembers the sound of the falling steel. When the moment is right and every single boar is inside the circle, the farmer simply taps a button on his phone. In less than one second, the heavy steel ring drops to the ground. There is no escape. The trap uses the weight of the steel to pin itself to the earth, making it impossible for even a 300 pound boar to lift it. This method has a success rate of nearly 100% for the groups it targets. It is a total game changer for the Texas landscape, but it also reveals just how dangerous these animals have become. But the trap was only half the battle because these monsters were evolving in the shadows. The hybrid super pig with a genius brain. To understand why this trap was necessary, you have to realize that these are not normal farm pigs. They are a biological nightmare created by human history. Back in the 1500s, Spanish explorers brought domestic pigs to the Americas as a mobile food source. Some of these pigs escaped and became wild. Then, in the early 1900s, wealthy hunters brought over pure Eurasian wild boars from Russia and Germany. They wanted a more aggressive animal to hunt for sport. The fences on those hunting lands eventually broke and the two types of pigs started to mix. The result of this mixing is what scientists call hybrid vigor. These new boars took the huge size and high birth rates of farm pigs and combined them with the sharp tusks and high intelligence of wild mountain boars. They are now stronger, faster, and much smarter than their ancestors. 
A single female can start having babies when she is only four months old. She can have two litters of 10 piglets every single year. This creates what people call a pig bomb. If a farmer does not remove 70% of the population every year, the numbers will actually keep going up. Their bodies are built like tanks. They have a special bone in their nose that acts like a reinforced shovel. This allows them to bulldoze through hard soil and even lift heavy equipment. Their sense of smell is so good that they can find food buried three feet underground. Even though their eyesight is not great, they can hear a human footstep from a long distance away. They have learned the schedules of farmers and now stay hidden in the thick brush during the day, only coming out at night when it is harder for humans to see them. What most people do not realize is just how smart these animals really are. Some studies show they are as smart as a three-year-old child. They have long-term memories and can even recognize human faces. If a sounder sees one of their friends get caught in a certain type of trap, they will never go near that trap again. They have even been seen working together to lift gates or help a trapped pig escape. This is why the old ways of hunting failed so badly. Every time a hunter took out one pig, he was teaching 20 others how to survive. The damage they do is not just about eating corn. They are ecosystem engineers that destroy everything they touch. They root up riverbanks, which causes soil to wash away and ruins the water for fish and cattle. They carry diseases that can spread to other livestock and even humans. In the Texas Hill Country, beautiful clear streams have turned brown and toxic because of pig waste. The farmers are not just protecting their money, they are protecting the land itself from a force that never stops eating and never stops moving. But as smart as the pigs are, the farmers have started using a secret weapon that uses the pigs' own hearts against them. Judas Pig and the High-Tech War Room The war against the boars has moved into a high-tech war room. It is no longer just one farmer with a rifle. It is a giant network of people working together across the entire state. They use a system called the grid to track the movement of different sounders. If a group of boars leaves one farm and moves to another, the first farmer sends an alert to a community app. This allows the next farmer to have his trap ready and his bait spread out before the pigs even arrive. It is a coordinated strike that leaves the animals with nowhere to hide. One of the most effective yet cold-hearted tools in this war is the Judas pig. Here is the deal. Specialists will capture a single boar, usually a young female, and fit her with a high-tech GPS collar. Then they let her go. Because boars are very social and hate being alone, she will immediately run off to find a new group to join. The farmers then watch their computer screens as the GPS signal moves across the map. The Judas pig leads them straight to the hidden heart of the sounder, revealing where they sleep and where they eat. Once the location is pinned down, the team moves in with the suspended corral trap. The Judas pig stays with her new family, completely unaware that she is a walking beacon for the farmers. This method allows humans to find boars in deep woods or swampy areas where people usually cannot go. It turns the animal's natural need for companionship into its greatest weakness. By the time the trap drops, the farmers have used the Judas pig to map out the entire social structure of the group. The technology does not stop at GPS collars. Farmers are now using drones with thermal imaging to fly over thousands of acres at night. These drones can see the heat coming off the bodies of the boars, even if they are hiding under thick trees. This data is fed into AI programs that can count the pigs and predict where they will go next based on the weather and the food supply. It is a silent war being fought with satellites and software. The boars are being watched every second of the night, and they have no idea the eyes in the sky are following them. This new way of fighting is much more efficient than the old days. In the past, it took over two hours of work to handle one pig. With the new automated traps and AI monitoring, that time has dropped to less than an hour. A single person can now manage 10 different traps from their living room. They only have to drive out to the field when the phone sends an alert saying the trap is full. It has turned a desperate struggle into a calculated business. But even with all this technology, people are starting to wonder if we are missing a key detail about these survivors. Economy of the Wild Boar While the main goal is to protect the land, a new industry is growing out of the boar crisis. You might think that all these trapped animals just go to waste, but that is not the case. Texas has strict rules about what happens to the boars after they are caught. 
Some are handled on the farm to protect the crops, but others are part of a massive commercial market. Because these animals are considered an exotic species, their meat can be sold if it is handled the right way. This has turned a huge problem into a way to make money. Trapped boars are often taken to state-approved stations where they are checked for health. From there, they go to special facilities where the meat is prepared for restaurants. Believe it or not, wild boar meat is a luxury item in many parts of the world. It is sold in high-end stores like Whole Foods and sent to big cities in Europe where people consider it a traditional delicacy. It is leaner and has a much stronger flavor than the pork you buy at a normal grocery store. This market helps pay for the expensive traps and the tech used to catch them. However, this commercial side creates a controversy. Some people worry that if the boars become too valuable, people might not want to get rid of them completely. They might want to keep the population high just to keep the business going. But for the farmers who are losing their livelihoods, there is no question. The boars have to go. The money made from the meat is just a small way to pay back the billions of dollars in damage the animals have caused over the last few decades. The future of this battle is looking even more like a science fiction movie. Engineers are currently testing traps that do not even need a human to press a button. These smart traps use AI to look at the live video and identify every animal that walks inside. If it sees a deer or a cow, it stays open. But the second it recognizes that every member of the target boar sounder is inside, it triggers itself. This means the war can be fought 24 hours a day without a single human having to wake up at 2 in the morning. Even with AI and floating traps, the wild boar remains one of the greatest survivors on the planet. They have survived ice and heat and every weapon humans have thrown at them for 500 years. The battle in the Texas brush is far from over, but the farmers finally have the upper hand. They have moved from being the victims of the night to being the masters of it. The question now is whether the pigs will find a new way to adapt and sue outsmart the machines once again. The battle for the Texas brush is a high-tech mystery that changes every single night. Can we really defeat an animal that is as smart as a child and breeds like a virus? Or are we just creating a new breed of super genius pigs? Let me know your thoughts in the comments and subscribe for more stories. Would you eat a wild boar burger?